Hey, pilots. Welcome to our new Weapon Spotlights video series. These videos are dedicated to the many instruments of destruction you can find in Mech Arena. Yeah, though, unlike Mech Highlights, we're going to be covering our weapons by type, a whole bunch at once. So, we reach the subject of today's spotlight, assault weapons. We've got four different weapons of this type in Mech Arena right now, and while they all differ in the details, the principle is the same. These weapons will put out rounds and always be ready. Yeah, that's for sure. Take the auto cannon. This trusty machine is an all-around excellent weapon in the early game, with enough accuracy and range to handle almost any engagement. That's true. Its maximum range is a whopping 135 meters, and even its optimal damage range is 45. Plenty far away for most situations. The bullets fly fast, and they hit what you're aiming at. There's just one problem. Oh? It just doesn't do any damage. It's fine in the lower divisions, but over time, auto cannons just can't keep up. Ah, yeah. I guess they're not great weapons to invest in long term. Not really, no. Cheap to upgrade, but not worth taking with you to the big leagues. But not all assault weapons are like that, right? What about plasma cannons? Oh, yeah. Now, plasma cannons are much more exciting. They're a great choice for anyone who's not afraid to fight their opponent face to face. Ooh, I like that. So do kill shot and shadow pilots. The plasma cannons put out a whole lot of damage for their weight class, and the rate of fire is nothing to scoff at. They also reload quick, so you've always got a weapon ready. The problem is, the little plasma balls it fires travel really slowly. Any fast-moving mech will be able to duck out of the way. Ah, and that's why you said it was good at close range. Probably also much more effective against tanks and slow-moving attacker mechs. Yeah, this weapon's not for shooting scouts. Our next gun, on the other hand… Oh, is this the good one? They're all the good one. Sure, but this one is the good one. The pulse cannon? The pulse cannon. Break it down, then. Why the love? Because they're great at everything. Pulse cannons have the most ammo, the fastest reload speed, the highest rate of fire, and the range and damage are near the top of the charts. Okay, but it's not all sunshine and roses. Pulse cannons are so inaccurate, they struggle to hit the broad side of a barn. Only at first. After you upgrade their rank a few times, they become one of the most accurate weapons in the assault category. No, the real problem is that they don't do damage fast. Ah, yeah. Their damage only compares to other high DPS weapons over, like, a minute, where the huge magazine and fast reload time can factor in. Over a couple of seconds, a pulse cannon isn't going to deal a lot of damage. You've got a plan for that. Pulse cannons aren't for ambushers or flankers. Pulse cannons are for duelists. Tanks? Well, duelists. Anything that expects to be standing with the enemy for a bit. Like tanks? Guardian Zephyrs and Surges can make good use of them too, since they can draw out a fight. But yes, tanks. Still, pulse cannons are the most versatile weapons in the whole arena. Oh, not quite the most versatile. That would be the carbine. Carbines don't count, they're too overpowered. Just regular powered. But yeah, they're really strong. Their damage output is super high, their range and accuracy rival a long arm, and they still have the magazine size and reload speed that makes assault weapons what they are. So how do you fight them? Get in close? Actually, that doesn't work as well as you'd think. Carbines are effective weapons even at point-blank range. Yikes. Okay. Do they have any weaknesses at all? Well, yes. A couple. First, their bullet speed is lower than you'd expect. So while they deal good damage at long range, they'll be hard pressed to hit their target if it's moving. They also struggle to fight scouts for much the same reasons. And then there's the obvious. Oh. Carbines are tough to get. You only unlock them late in the progress path, and blueprints are hard to find. Ah, yeah. Prototype mechs and weapons are like that. Great in battle, but you need to really be working events and tournaments if you want to field them. That's for sure. All right, that's all of the assault weapons in Mech Arena. We hope you found this weapon spotlight useful. Let us know in the comments if there's anything specific you'd like to see in future episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe too, and good luck out on the battlefield.